Alright, so on the same camping trip, we shot the two rabbits with Ivan and Sam. We also went on a big hike on the property hunting for foxes. So Sam and Caleb were on the lookout, I had the gun, and Ivan mimicked a rabbit in distress to lure the foxes in. Throughout the whole morning, we kept trying our luck in different spots, but just couldn't find one. So we decided it was time to head back home and try get some more rabbits. But as we were walking back, we thought it was worth just trying one last spot deeper in the bush near camp. <laughs> so I had a turn of the gun. Cheers, <laughs> Nick. And then we probably waited for about three minutes until we spotted our first fox. Go on, do you see it? Oh my god, there he is. That's him. Oh, I wish I'd fall asleep. It was just staring at me. I'm like, did you see it? Was it was the same one? Yeah. It ran down there and then I saw it and then I, I saw it run along there and I didn't see it. Right, just making sure you guys know that these foxes have been introduced to Australia and are now one of the biggest problems our farms and wildlife are facing. Holy crap. Wow. That was a great shot. Good shot. <laughs> yeah, they're beautiful animals. It's a shame that we have to we have to kill them but just how it is, you know. Right, so we'll take him home, cook him on the fire. Yeah, we'll um, get his pelt too. He's got beautiful fur. Yeah. So while we're walking back to camp with the fox, we found a few pretty cool animals along the way. We found an echidna walking a cattle track. We found this cool wow. little platypus chilling He's in the just creek. On the water. It's beautiful. Whoa. And then near that same creek, we found this bad boy. Holy crap, look at that. Is that its hole, you reckon? And now these are just a few of the animals that foxes and other feral animals can have a big impact towards. And um, if we don't do something about this feral animal problem, then unfortunately we won't be seeing these guys for too much longer. Oh no, his head's right there. Holy okay. crap. That was a really bad idea. Oh. I was just patting his tail and I just saw his head right there. There he is. Is it working well? Not on too bad. Cool. Got him. It's looking alright. Mm. Just twist. One leg. Jeez. Man, that looks good. And two legs. Cool. So we use some olive oil. Bush spice. Hey, looks favorite. Pink salt. Oh yeah. Nice. Cool. And some butter. 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 Oh, yep. Butter. Sweet. And then while we're cooking. We'll put a bucket load of lemon juice from this damn lemon. <laughs> damn lemon. But no, sorry guys, we're going fishing later today, so we're saving that for the fish. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, it snapped off. What? <laughs> Yum. They're looking pretty brown. Nice and crispy. Looks ready. How are we gonna do this? Sorry, can we just take the... Just pull the... Yeah. 
Right. I'm not really excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Right. <laughs> it's got a really tough, chewy texture, but... Ugh. It's not as bad as I thought. No. Yeah, it's good. I was expecting pretty bad, actually. Yeah. It doesn't taste like we're going to be on the toilet for four days. The toilet. Do you want to try any? <laughs> yeah. The first few bites was a bit weird, mm. but then it was all right. <laughs> no, it's actually really good. Tastes like... I don't know. Tastes pretty good, but... <laughs> Surprisingly good, honestly. Hard to eat. Is it even cooked? <laughs> <laughs> it's been on there for three hours. Yeah. <laughs> better be. Well... Mm. Box, catch and cook. Yeah. I'd do it again. Yeah, me too. I'd even eat one again. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, Bushwankers, that's it. Hope you liked the vid. And if you haven't yet, go check out our previous video we filmed on the same camera trip. We shot a couple rabbits with the bow and arrow, brought them back to the kitchen, and cooked them over the fire on a stick. <sighs> and make sure you subscribe. And follow us on Instagram. See you later.